Hey, what's up guys? This is Cole with Turn Transmissions. Today I tore down a customer's 48RE. Um, they had it built by another builder, uh, if you want to call them that, that was closer to them than we are. Unfortunately, our customer did not trust them, so they brought it here for us to tear down and go through it, take a look at it, um, and we're going to show you what we found. This trans had zero miles on it. Our customer brought it almost immediately once it was done. This trans was never put in a truck. You are seeing this as it was when the builder put it together. Pretty, pretty embarrassing. First things first, this is his overdrive direct setup. And as you can see, there are steels against steels. And that is an eight clutch setup instead of the standard 10 clutch setup. So that would have caused a multitude of issues as well as the overdrive direct retaining snap ring being reused from somebody else's build. You can see the witness marks on the side of that snap ring. So this was not brand new when it was installed in this trans. Same things uh, with his sprags. His sprags were reused from somebody else's build or his previous build. Um, we always put new sprags in, new sprags, new frictions, new steels. Not to mention these steels are also used. These are colines, but they have been used in somebody else's build. They are not brand new. And you can also see there is a burnt used OE steel in there, which is not very good. That is not, that's not the quality that you want to, that you want to see in a builder uh, or in their, the products they produce. Next thing, his center support uh, was absolutely destroyed. Um, you could probably even see the grooves in there. Same thing on his lower verse drum. Same thing on the inside, grooved up. That is not very good. Uh, and as well as the lower verse drum being rusty, not clean. Nothing inside of this trans was very clean at all. Um, he also assembled it with what best I can describe as wheel bearing grease. We use transmission lube, we use assembly gel, which is either blue or green. This is the red stuff that you pack wheel bearings with. That is not transmission assembly lube, that's wheel bearing grease. Please do not use that. His lower verse band was reused. Uh, there's a massive chunk missing out of it. Uh, in two places, as well as the band being um, gross. His mortar with the lower verse. This is lower verse retainer. You can see that thing looks pretty bent. It is very bent. Not only that, his servo. Yes, it is a billet servo, but is missing one of the uh, one of the seals that goes around the outside of it. And also, this servo was reused from somebody else's build. This is a used billet servo. I hope that he did not pay for a brand new servo. When it comes to his direct clutch setup. Again, used colines. You can see the witness mark from the piston and where old frictions used to ride on it. These are brand new Red Altos against burnt steels. Brand new Red Alto, another burnt steel. That's a good steel. That's a good steel. That's an OE steel. That is not a Red Alto. That is something. Normally these five clutch drums, these five clutch direct drums, uh, they can fit five clutches in them perfectly fine. What we do um, in our stage twos, we cut this backing plate to fit six clutches in there, uh, which is obviously, you know, you're going from five clutches to six clutches, that's much better. You can either do that, you can cut the backing plate, or you can install a billet piston, or you can cut the stock piston. This builder did neither of those. Um, so this had next to no clearance in the direct clutch pack, which would have caused a massive bind on the 2-3 shift and would have caused an extremely harsh reverse engagement if this trans was ever installed in the truck. Another thing with this drum, this bushing, we always replace these bushings that you can see is used. It was not replaced. Uh, didn't even try scotch writing it. Uh, nothing of the sort, which is not good. Getting towards the end, getting towards the front of the trans, Obviously you can see all that wheel, wheel bearing grease in there that he packed this pump full of. That pump bushing is installed way too deep in the pump. These pockets are there, these little reliefs are there so you can stake that pump bushing in place so it does not move. This pump bushing would have pushed out and it would have caused a massive issue for this customer. Not only that, um, this stator, we cut our stators, our 47 stators, um, to include this lockup seal groove. This uh, is a 47 stator but this is a 48 trans. So whatever was happening with our customer's core when he initially brought it to the previous builder, they replaced the stator and did not give him back his 48 stator because this is a 47 stator. They cut this groove in there, not very well, which is not good. There's a lack of integrity there. 
So that is most of the issues that we found in this thing. Um, the biggest thing is everything is dirty uh, and it's you, he's using wheel bearing grease to assemble this thing, using used parts, wheel bearing grease, not checking clutch clearances, reusing damaged parts, using rusty parts, not replacing some parts, um, using used parts again, I'll say it again and again. So we're gonna get this trans back together in working condition for this guy. When you guys are looking for a transmission shop, this is not the quality that you guys are looking for. You are looking for somebody who is transparent, somebody who will tell you exactly what is going into your trans, show you exactly what is going into your trans, so that you know the quality of parts and of service that you are getting. This is not that. This is lackluster, in my opinion. But we're gonna get this guy fixed up, put his trans back together, uh, and get him back on the road. Thank you, guys.